Alrighty, I got my yarn switched over. We're going to chain one and we're going to start round 13 by turning our work. So we are on the back side and we're going to work three doubles into the very first stitch. There's one, two, and there's three. Now we're going to work a double crochet into each of these double crochets. Just one. One in each. And then what we're going to do now is work three double crochets in each of these chain three spaces and one double crochet on top of each of the double crochets from the previous row. So in this space we're just going to go right through and work three doubles. There's one, two, three, and then this double crochet here, double crochet on top of it, and then in the space, three doubles, one, two, three, and then double one double right on top of it and this is what we're going to repeat all the way until we get up here to where our triple crochets are all right three doubles in each of the chain spaces and one double in each of the doubles and i'll meet up with you when we get up here to our um point our sections of triple crochets and chain twos all right all right so i've made it up here to my Triple crochet, chain two, triple crochet, chain two, triple crochet. All right, so I doubled into the top of the triple. Now I'm going to put two doubles into the chain, first chain two space. And then into this triple right here, I'm going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and that would be five. And then in the next chain two space, two double crochets, one, and two. And then the next triple is a double crochet. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side that we just did over here. We're working three doubles in each of the chain three spaces. There's three. And then one double on top of the double. Alright, and we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of the row. Remember we are on the back side of our work. Just like this. Yeah, alright. I think that's going to work. All right, I'm coming to the end here. I did three double crochets into this last chain space. I'm going to put a double crochet in the next two double crochets. And then three double crochets into my last stitch. I'm going to switch colors here on three doubles into the last. There's two. I'm going to switch colors here on my last stitch that off camera all right so i've changed colors here and let's go ahead and start round 14 we're going to chain one and turn our work and now we'll be on the front side of our work so we're going to be doing cluster v stitches but in the first stitch here we're just going to put one cluster so i'll show you how we make the cluster we yarn over and go into that very first stitch and we're going to draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook, all right? We're going to do that three times total. 
So that counted as number one. Again, we're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through the first two loops. That's two times. Yarn over and go into the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. So that was three times. You should have four loops left. Yarn over and go through all four, and we're just going to do a chain of one. All right. So that was the first cluster here in that first stitch. Now we're going to skip three stitches, skip, 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 and we're going to make a cluster V stitch into the next. So skip your three, one, two, three, and the next, go into it and make a cluster stitch. So yarn over, draw up a loop, and then yarn over and go through the first two. You need to do that three times. That's one, two, and that's three. Four loops remain, yarn over and go through all four. Now when you're doing the V stitch, you wanna chain two for the V stitch. So we're gonna go back into that stitch again and make another cluster. Exactly the same. That, four loops remain. Yarn over and go through all four. And there's your cluster V. And once you're finished with your cluster V, you want to chain one in between them, like that. And that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to skip three stitches again. One, two, three. And in the next stitch, we will cluster V. It's, your cluster V should always be on top of this double crochet that's kind of lined up. See that? In the same stitch as that one. Kind of line themselves up all the way down. All right, cluster B, skip your three, one, two, three, and next one. All right, so there is one cluster. Now remember for the V stitch part, we do a chain two, and then we go back into the same stitch and do another cluster. Like that so that cluster V is done and when we just chain one in between the cluster V's all right we're just gonna repeat this pattern um, again we would just chain three or skip three one two three and do our cluster V here and then we would chain one after it skip three one two three and our cluster V would go here now we're gonna do those cluster V's and I'll meet up with you when we get over here at the point Remember where we put five double crochets there? We're gonna do a little bit differently down here. All right, so I'll meet up with you um, after this cluster V here. That there'll be one right here. And that's where I'll meet up with you after you finish this one out. All right, see you in a second. All right, so I've made it down here. I just did my last um, double V here and then so if I was to do a skip three, one, two, three, and double V'd in the next, I would be in the second stitch of that group of five. Well, I need to be in the middle of it, the third stitch. So what we're going to do now, instead of chaining one after this double V, we're going to chain two like that. And now we're going to skip one, two, three, four. And in the next one, we are going to do a cluster um but this cluster is going to be made with four four times over instead of three so we're going to go into that middle stitch draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two and we want to do that four times so that's one there's two That's three. One more time is four. Then you got five loops now. And we're gonna yarn over and go through all five. And then we're going to chain three here. 
at the corner at the uh, point and go back into that same spot and do a four together cluster just like we did yarn over and draw through two four times so that's one two there's three and four got five this time yarn over and go through all the loops all right so remember we're going to chain two after this one and then we'll be skipping four one two three four and then we the next one is where we go back to normal and we'll do our regular cluster v stitch right here so we do the three into that stitch like that and then we chain two go back into the same stitch again and do the three cluster like that and we just chain one in between now and again we skip three one two three and the cluster will always go right here along this line so now we're just doing what we did on the other side the cluster bees in the same manner so i'm going to do it all the way up and i'll meet back up with you when we get back up to the top Like that chain one skip three one two three and cluster B all right I'll see you right up here alrighty I'm coming to the end of row 14 I just did my my last cluster B and then I chained one and you should have four stitches left one two three four we're going to skip three and the last one we're just going to do one cluster in it just like we did in the beginning so not a V, just one cluster. I'm going to switch colors after this row, though. So what I'm going to do is switch in colors, in case you are. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start row 15. So I already just chained one. I already chained one there when I locked it. And turn your work. Now we are on the back side of our work. So what I'm going to do is I need to work in this puff stitch. So, I think, actually, let me think here for a minute. I'm going to, chain, I chained one when I locked that puff, so it's pretty tight. I think what I'm going to do is do a chain three. Now, one two three I normally don't do that but that's going to count as a double crochet and then I'm going to go into um this space right here and I'm going to work two more double crochets there's one and two now let's look at that make sure it's gonna be okay I think that'll be all right. All right. Now we're going to chain one. And we're going to come over here to the chain two space of the first cluster. And we're going to work a double V stitch. So what we're going to do is go into in there and work two doubles right into the space. So there's two. And then I'm going to chain two and go back into the same space and work two more doubles like that so double v there and then we will chain one again and come over here to the next cluster and in that chain two space we'll work our double v so we got two doubles chain two and two doubles 
This is what we're going to do all the way down till we get to our center point. Chain one, jump over here to the next cluster V and work a double V into the chain space. Two doubles, chain two, and two doubles. All right, so we're going to go ahead and repeat this all the way down, doing a double V in each one of these clusters here and make sure you're chaining one in between and i'll meet back up with you after we get this last cluster done here and i'll show you what we're going to do here in this chain space all right all right so i made it down here to the point here and we're going to chain two here instead of uh chaining one so chain two after that last double v and then we're going to jump over here to the point chain three space of our um, cluster here from the previous row and we're going to do three double crochets there's one two three and we're going to chain three again one two three and go back into the same spot and work three more doubles there's one Two. and there's three and we will chain two here just like we did on the other side and then we will continue doing the same thing um, over here that we just did over here that we did over here starting with jumping over here to our cluster and working a double V stitch in it so two doubles chain of two and two more doubles then we're gonna chain one and jump to the next one and repeat so we're doing the same thing that we did on the other side and we're gonna do this until we get up here to the top we finish this out here Okay, so that's what it looks like. We're on the back side, remember? So I'll meet back up with you after we finish out this last cluster. All right, see you in a second. All right, coming to the end here of uh, row 15. Did my uh, double V here. I'm make sure I chain one. Now in this space here, I'm going to work two double crochets. And then I'm going to work one double crochet um, on top of this cluster. And I'm going to switch colors here to a blue yarn. So I'm going to go into the top and work part of my double. And then pull my new color through. You don't have to, to switch if you're using something different. But I'm going to go ahead and get this switched up. And I'll be right back. All right. Let's go ahead and start row 16 now. So we're going to chain one turn our work all right you do want to make sure that you have the same number of these v stitches that you have on both sides so i'm not counting this first just the v stitches you should have 11 and then 11 and then one down here this one down here is our center so we don't count him but 11 11 and then that one and then these uh stitches up here all right, let's see what will we do next. Um, all right, we'll start off by putting, let me see here. Um, well, let's work. Two double crochets into the very first stitch. So we're going to work two doubles this time into the first stitch. There's one, and there's two, and um, let's go ahead and work a, a double crochet into the next two stitches. And then what 
we're going to do is a um, drop single crochet. See this spot here where we put these double crochets from the previous row? Just go down right into that spot and single crochet like that. Is that going to work? Is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll be fine. Just let me do that one one more time. Drop single right down there. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna jump over here to our chain two space. Um, we are going to... Mm, okay, we're gonna work uh, some puff stitches. All right. Okay, we're going to chain one after that single crochet and we're going to jump into this space and we're going to work puff. So we're going to yarn over, go into the space, draw up a loop, yarn over, go into the same space, draw up a loop. We want to do that three times. That's twice. One more time. Yarn over, go into the space, draw up a loop. So that was three times that we've done that. And now you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven loops on your hook yarn over and go through all seven loops like that and then we're going to chain one um to lock it and then we're going to go back in and do another one another puff same way yarn over go in drop a loop three times that was one two three one one two three four five six seven go through all seven loops chain one so there's two puffs we've done and we have a chain one in between them let's do another one into the same spot chain one so we have three puffs there into that space with the chain one <clears throat> in between them and we chain one after that last one now we're going to do a drop single crochet um, right through this space uh, two rows down one two through this space just take it and go right through and draw it up and single crochet like that so this is what we're going to do the whole way down. All right. So we're going to chain one after that single. And we're going to do it again. Three of the puffs here into this chain space with a chain one in between them. There's one. There's two, one more. There's three, so we got three there. Chain one after that last one. And then come down here and do a drop single down here into the space. So we'll just go right into it and single crochet like that. Chain one and repeat so we're going to do this all the way down these these are uh, puffs so we're doing three puffs with chain one in between and make sure the last one that you chain one after that one drop single down here see and chain one after that and repeat three puffs all the way down and I'll meet back up with you after we finish out this one. And I'll show you what we're going to do at the corner. Or at the point. Alright. Alright. I'm going to come to the point down here of the shawl. So <clears throat> I did the three puffs. And I chained one after the last one. So we're going to do the drop single right here. In this big space. Like that. Okay, 
Now, we are going to jump over here and we're going to do five puffs in here with the chain one in between them. Make sure you chain one after that last single there that we just did, that drop, drop single. And just jump way over here and there's one puff and chain one. Two puffs, chain one. Three puffs, chain one. There's four, chain one, and we'll do one more for a total of five down here. Make sure you chain one after that one. So we got five down here in the corner. Now we're going to do our, in this space, drop single crochet like that, chain one, and start doing the same thing on this side that we did on the other. So it's the three puffs, chain one in between them, and then the drop single, chain one after that, and repeat. So that is what it's starting to look like. All right, I'll see you when we get up here. All right, after I fin I'll finish this one out. That's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, I'm coming to the end. All right. So I just did my last three puffs there and chained one after the last one to lock it. And we need to make this side match the other side. So we're going to do a drop single right down here in the space. Uh, and then you should have um, three stitches left. We're going to double crochet in the first two. There's one and two and then two doubles into the last and then that'll end that row. I'm gonna change colors here. So here I'm gonna put two doubles into the last and I'm going to change colors on this double here. I think I want to go with uh, I'm going to go with the other blue I got going on, this one. Alright, so I'm going to switch to that, and I'll be right back. Alright, let's go ahead and start row 17, which is going to be on the back side of our work. So let's chain one and turn our work over. And let me look at the top real quick so we can see what I need to do. Alright, so let's start out with just... Uh, two double crochets in this first stitch. So there's one, two. Now, mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's work a chain of. Let's put a double crochet in the next stitch too. So two double crochets in the first, one double into the next. I'm sorry, I'm making this up as I go. So. Um, and then let's do a chain of two. One, two, and let's double crochet down here into this drop single, all right? Put one double down there, like that. Okay, let's see. All right, we're gonna do a chain of two. And we're gonna single crochet into the top of this puff. So find the puff and the stitch that's right on top of it. Single crochet into that. Like that. 
And again, we're going to chain two, one, two, and double crochet down here into this drop single. And this is what we're going to repeat here. Chain two and single crochet into the middle of the middle puff, the top of it. So since we're on the back side, you probably have to flip it and you'll see it's right there. All right, chain two, one, two. Double crochet down here into your drop single. Chain two. And single crochet into the top of the middle puff. So we're going to go ahead and repeat this pattern. <clears throat> Make sure that's going to work out okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and re repeat this all the way down. And so we get here to the middle puff. I'll meet you um, here at this drop single before the middle puff, okay? Alright, so I've come to the uh, corner here, or not the corner, the bottom, bottom here. I'm going to chain two, like that, and then there are five puffs here. I'm going to single crochet in the, in the second one. One, two. Like that. And then into the middle one. I'm just going to directly go, directly go into it. And I'm going to work right into the top of the middle puff. I'm not going to chain after the single crochet. I'm going to put a double crochet. Like that. And, and then I'm going to put a chain two and a double crochet. Like that. So that's going to be the middle. So what we're going to do without chaining is find the, in the very next puff, the top of the very next puff, we're going to single crochet into it. Like that. And then we're going to start the re oops, start the repeat again. So we just chain two. Or just do the same thing on this side that we just did over there. And double crochet into the next drop. Double. Like that. Chain two and a single crochet in the top of the next middle puff. All right, so we're just going to do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side. And I will, there we go. You see how that looks? Yeah, that'll work. All right, um, I'll see you here at the end, okay? All right, coming to the end of row 17. So we're going to chain two and we are going to, let's see. I drop double here. We're going to skip. Two. So skip this one. And this one. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the next. 
and then two double crochets into the last. I'm going to keep this color on my hook. Go ahead and start row 18. I'm going to chain one and turn and now we'll be on the front side of our work again. Alright, so we're going to start again, two doubles into the very first stitch. That. Double crochet in each of the next two. Just one in each of them. Okay. In this chain two space, we're going to work two doubles. Like that. We're skipping this. We're not putting anything in this stitch. And in the next, we're just going to jump over to the next chain two space and work two doubles. We're not going to put anything in the single crochet. We're going to jump over to the next chain two space and work two doubles. So what we're going to do is we're just working in the chain two spaces. All right. We're not working in any stitches and we're just going to put two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces until we get down to the point and I'll meet up with you there at our last chain two space here before we get to the point of of the shawl. Remember, we're only putting two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces. We're not working any stitches in these stitches, just the chain spaces. All right, just like this. See you in a second. All right, so when you make it down here to the point of the shawl, I did two double crochets in this chain two space. What we're going to do now is we are going to put one double crochet into this single crochet here, this one, and then we're going to jump to the chain two space. So we won't put anything in that double, but in the chain two space, we're going to work two double crochets. There's one. And there's two and then a chain two and two more back into the chain space. <clears throat> there's one and two and then we'll need to put one nothing into this double but one double into that single crochet there and then we will continue on this side what we did on the other by only working two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces nothing in any more of this uh, nothing in any of the stitches right now so we're just skipping the stitches two doubles in the chain two spaces skip that stitch two doubles and i will meet back up with you when we make it to the end. Let's see how that looks. Looks fine. Remember, if it ever looks funky, don't worry. We'll take. I'll take care of it if it gets wavy or if it gets too tight. And then when it, if it looks funky, we all we block that funk out of it. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll see you at the end here. All right. So I've I've made it to the end. I put two double crochets there in that last chain two space and then I'm going to put one, you should have three stitches left there, put one double crochet in each of the next two, so one there, one there, and I'm going to put two into the last stitch, I'm going to change colors on this row, so there's one. And this would be my last one where I switch colors. I'm going to this pink, in case anybody wonders. So let me get this switched up and we'll start again. All right, so that was the end of round 18. Let's go ahead and start round 19. By chaining one, turning our work, and we'll be on the back side. Back side of our work now. 
Alright, let's look see what we got going on here. Sorry. I just gotta check out my my front. Alright. Let's start out with the two double crochets into the very first stitch. There's one. And there's two. Alright, for this row we are just gonna be working a row of front post double crochets all the way down all right so we're gonna go to the next stitch and okay there's the first one the next one front post double crochet like that and then the one front post double in the next and this is what we're gonna do all the way down just one front post double into every stitch until we get to the chain two well yeah till we get to the chain two space of our point down there like that and as you can see we do this and then when we flip it to the right side we'll have ridges our right side has ridges all right Front post double all the way down, one in every stitch, and I'll, including these, one in these stitches too, and I'll meet you at this chain two space of the point, all right? All right, I'm down here at my chain two space. If your row is slipping, it's okay. It's okay. So I did a front post double there. So we're gonna go into the chain two space and we're gonna work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. So that is going to be the point. And then we're just going to continue working front post double crochets, one in every stitch until we get to the last stitch of our row. Alright. And I will see you at the end. All right, I'm coming to the end here. I'm at my last stitch and I'm gonna end by putting two double crochets into the last stitch. I'm going to switch colors on this this time. So just two regular double crochet. I'm gonna into the last. I'm gonna switch colors on this last one. And I'm gonna go to um, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm gonna go to purple. All right. So let me get that switched. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and start row 20. So we will chain one, flip our work, and we are going to be on the right side of our work. Now remember, if that last row that we just did is like completely non-existent when you flip your work because it's like flipped backwards. See it back there? That's okay. We're gonna take. I'm gonna take care of that right now. All right. See how it's just completely flipped. Let's let's do something about that. Let's start and put uh, three double crochets into our first stitch here. There's one. two and three like that and then we're just going to put one double crochet into the top of the next stitch like that now the next stitch we are going to work a popcorn stitch now if you do not know how to do that that is okay i'm going to show you right now um, and we're going to work a four double crochet popcorn stitch. So what that means is we're going to go into this next stitch and work four double crochets all into the same stitch. There's one, two, three, and there's four. Now what you do is pull that uh, loop up and take your hook out. 
Now you go to the first double crochet of the four that you just did. Don't go into the ones before it. Make sure you get the first double crochet of the four. So you can see it right here. And put your hook in the top of it. Like that. And then you put this loop back on your hook. Pull down your main yarn like that. And all you got to do now is pull that loop through that stitch. Give it just a little bit of a tug. Chain one to lock it and there is your popcorn. Now popcorn stitches can be made with any amount of double crochets. I would say the most common is probably five. But we're going to do four for this particular one. Now what we're going to do is double crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. And this is what we're going to repeat all the way around. So we're going to do a popcorn into the next. So we're going to go ahead and work four double crochets into the next stitch. There's one, two, there's three, and four. Go ahead and pull your loop out and make sure you get the first of the four. Uh, no, you know, we don't want to get any of these over here. So there's one, two, three, four. Stick your hook into the first of the four and then put that loop back on your hook and pull down on your main yarn and then slide that loop through that first stitch. Give it just a little bit of a tug. Chain one to lock it and there is a popcorn. And we're gonna put a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And this is what we're gonna keep repeating um, all the way down until we get near the point of our shawl. So popcorn into the next, so four double crochets all into the next. There's one, two, three, four, pull that loop up, find your first of the four, Put your double crochet into, the, or your hook in the top of that double crochet. Put the a loop back on your hook. Pull down on your main yarn, and pull that loop through that first double crochet. Little bit of a tug, chain one, and there's your popcorn. And then we're just going to double crochet directly into the next stitch. All right, so it's popcorn double crochet, popcorn double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way down, and I'll meet back up with you right around here at the point somewhere, all right? See you in a second. All right, so I come down here, and I'm at the chain space down here in the corner, or at the point. So I ended in a double crochet. I did the popcorn, and then the double crochet was the last stitch before the chain two space. So in this chain two space, why don't we do a popcorn? So let's go in and we'll do four double crochets into it. There's one, two, three, and there's four. And now let's get that fourth one. So not the one that's in that double crochet there pull up go into that fourth one or the first one of the four put that back on go in and pull it through now we chain one to lock and let's go ahead and do two more chains like that let me see if that's gonna work that's gonna work i think it's gonna work let's do another popcorn in the same chain space so we're going to go in and do four more doubles into the same spot. There's one, two, three, there's four, pull it up, Get <laughs> wrestle it off your hook, all right, and then go into that first of the four. Like that. Put that loop back on your hook. And then pull it through. 
give it a slight tug, chain one to lock it, and there we go. We got our point made with some popcorns. All right, and then we can just do the same thing on this side that we did on this side. So we ended uh, with a double crochet into the, right here was the last stitch before. So the double crochet will be the first stitch over here. And then we will just repeat the popcorn, double crochet, popcorn, double crochet, all the way until we make it um, up to here. And as you can see, it's laying down that side better now. Yeah. Looking good. All right, I'll meet you up here. All right, I'm coming to the end here, and I just did a popcorn, and I have uh, two stitches that remain. So I'm going to put a double crochet into the next one, and then we're going to end with uh, three three double crochets into the last. I'm going to switch colors here on my third double. So there's one. There's two. And I'm going to switch colors here to this teal, I guess. All right, so let me go ahead and switch up and we'll start again. All right, so that ended row 20. Let's go ahead and start row 21. We're going to chain one and turn. And now we are on the back side of our work. And let me see here. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to work um, single crochet here. So we're going to put two single crochet into the very first stitch. Like that. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every double and in every popcorn stitch. All right. So, see where we're at here. All right, here's a double. And here's the popcorn right here. You can go and do it right on top of it, just like that. And single crochet. Let me look at that from the other side. Okay. And then Remember, uh, after the popcorn, we did a chain one to lock it, all right? That's right there. We don't want to go into that. So we'll go into the next double. Uh, yeah, a single crochet. And then on top of the next popcorn. So here's the popcorn. Kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle right on top of it. Single crochet. And then the next double. So remember, here's the chain one. We don't want that. We don't want that space. We want the next double. All right. So I'm going to continue this and on top of the popcorn, doing one single crochet in every double and on top of every uh, popcorn from the previous row. Let's see. Yep. Until we get down here to our uh, chain space down here, um, the point of the shawl. All right, that's where I'll meet up with you. All right, I'm down here at my chain two space, and I just did a single crochet into the popcorn that is our part of our chain, chain or chain two or chain three space, whatever this is. Now we're going to go into it, and we're going to work. Two singles, there's one and two. Chain two, go back in and work two more singles. One and two. So that's our 
chain space this time. It's two singles, chain two, and two singles. All right, it looks a little weird, I guess, but. <laughs> and then we're going to continue doing the same thing on this side that we just did on this side. So, first stitch here is a popcorn. So, we're just going to work single crochet in the top of every popcorn. And every double crochet. Oops. It's kind of hard on this one. Seeing the stitches. Uh, keep counting these rows, okay? Because we're going to have to have a certain number here for these. All right. So continue the same thing on the other side that you did on this side. And I'll meet up with you at the end. All right, so I come to the end of row 21 and I put two double crochets in the last stitch. So if you were to count your stitches here now, the single crochets that we just did, you should have all the way down 64 on this side of the chain, counting these two that are in the, in the space here. Don't count the chain and 64 on this side, all right? Now, if you don't have that, it's, it's, um, you just add an extra one somewhere. It's not, it's not a big deal. Or take one away or something. It's not really, it's not hard to just kind of, you know, add one or take one away. Not going to be a big deal. All right. So we'll start row, I'm going to keep the same color and we're going to start row 22, chain one and turn. And we're going to be on the on the front side of our work now. All right, so we're gonna start off by putting three double crochets into that first single. So there's one, two, and there's three. So three doubles there. All right, now what we're gonna do is chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And this is what we're gonna do all the way down. Chain one, skip one, double, into the next. Chain one, skip one, and double into the next. So I'm gonna repeat this all the way down until we get to the point here, all right? And that's where I'll meet back up with you. All right, so when you make it down here to the point here, or the chain two space, um, you can say I have, one, I have one single crochet here before I hit the chain two space. I want to chain one, skip that single crochet, and then into the chain two space, I'm going to work a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm gonna go back into the same space, chain two space, and work another double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. And then again, I'm going to work a double crochet in that same chain one space again, or, or chain two space, I'm sorry. So in that chain two space, we have a double, chain one, double, chain one, double, like that. And now we're gonna work the same thing on this side that we just did over on this side. So we have to start off by chaining one and skipping this first single crochet and double crocheting into the next. Just like that, chain one, skip one, and double. Chain one, skip one, and double. 
All right, I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of this side. All right, I'm coming here to the end. Um, I just did a double crochet. You should have two stitches left, so you chain one, skip one, and we're going to put uh, three double crochets into that last stitch. So skip this one. Make sure you chain one here after this double. Skip this one. And then three doubles into the last one. I'm going to switch colors here on this row on my last double crochet so there's two and this will be three so in row 22 I'm gonna go to light purple let me switch that up 